Critical error. Firebase update. Along with the new update, many things have changed. Many programmers are getting confused between what is the Firebase exception along with the method of initialize app. So in this video, let's get rid of the following errors and exceptions and configure our Google sign-in for Flutter. Step will be simply moving into our Spoptica XAML file and adding the correct dependency. The first dependency shall be including Google sign-in, the second one to be Firebase core and the list for the Firebase auth. Google sign-in and Firebase auth will be enough, but according to the new update of the Firebase, we need to add Firebase code. Now the second step will be simply initializing the app. So you can simply move into your void main, that is the main root of your file and add the following code. Now we will need to bind our entire widget, so we can add widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized. And after that we can await for the Firebase initialize app so that our app will be automatically initialized after connected with the network. Now after adding the following thing. We simply add to add the async quotation mark in the front of void domain. That is our main file should be asynchronous. Now after adding the following dependency, you simply have to add the google services.json file. If you haven't seen my previous video over how to set up your firebase along with the flutter app, I recommend you to watch those videos first. Now after adding the google services into our android, you simply have to move into a build.gradle file and under the dependency you need to add the class path. The class path shall be including of google tools as well as google services. Now after adding this class pass into your build.gradle file, you need to add some plugins. Now the plugins will be including for Google GMS service as well as Android application. You also need to enable multi-deck, that is you need to ensure that your Dalvik version of the Flutter application should be for the multiple core. So you can simply write multi-deck enable to be true. So we can now finally start coding a Google sign-in for our Flutter application. So let's start initializing our Google sign-in methods. So the first thing is about getting the instances of the Google sign-in as well as Firebase. So here I can write final to be Google sign in, which will be auto imported via the package that we have gotten into a perfect YAML file, which is Google sign in. So here I can write a private variable for the method, which will be Google sign in equal to Google sign in. Now after adding the following method, we need the Firebase auth, that is the instance of the Firebase auth method. So here I can write final Firebase auth to be a private variable of Firebase auth to be Firebase auth, that is the Firebase auth dot instance. Now after getting both the instances of the following methods, we need to declare a method, a method which will be used for initializing a Google sign-in. So feature comes handy when the data will be asynchronous, that is we will be loading all of our data from some external API without any synchronous mode. So here we can simply write a future method which will be in the form of string, that is we will be simply returning the login credentials through our future method. So here I can simply rename my future method to be Google sign-in. Now the entire future method will be going to be asynchronous, so we can denote the entire future method to be async. Now after adding the name and the credentials of the future method, we can now start declaring all the mandatory fields that will be requiring for initializing our Google sign-in. So the first thing will be fetching the account from the user itself. So here I can write final Google sign-in account to be Google sign-in account. Now this will simply await for the response which will be under Google sign-in method and we can simply sign in. Now this shall be the entry point for the user to sign in into our Flutter application. So after getting the sign-in account from the user, we can now simply start getting the authentication that is we need some access tokens and ID tokens so we can simply write final google authentication to be google authentication now this shall simply fetch the authentication that is we have conducted a mode through which we can now await for that authentication so here i will write the quotation mark that is keyword of await and after that let's start fetching the access tokens as well as ID tokens so to fetch that i can simply write auth credentials in the final form to be auth credentials now it will simply have a google auth provider and from this provider we can simply get credentials. Now we have to provide the value of the authentication value that we have written up. So here I can simply add access token to be google sign in authentication not access token. And similarly shall be in the case for id token. So here I will write id token to be google sign in authentication dot id token. Now after fetching both the credentials that is access token and id token. Now we need to find a way so that the user will be automatically navigated to the firebase console. So here I will simply write final user credential to be user credential. Now this user credential will simply await for the Firebase data. So here I can write await Firebase or dot sign in credentials. Now the following method shall be taking the credentials that we have written up including the auth credentials. So here I can simply provide the value of my credentials which are auth credentials. Now we have to find a way so that the data that we have obtained from the following method shall be included into our Firebase. 
Now, up till now, the user is automatically signed it with Google, but not with Firebase. So, to make him sign it with Firebase, we simply have to initialize a new user data. So, here I can read user to be user credential dot user. Now, the following user class shall be under the dependency of the Firebase auth. Once we have gotten the user, so we can now check all the mandatory fields that we will be requiring for fetching the data. So, here I can simply assert the following values, which will be display name, email, and a photo URL. Now after this assertion, we simply have to declare some empty strings so that we can store all the data of the user. So here I will add string name, email as well as a photo URL for the display photo of the user. Now after fetching the names that are the empty strings, we can now simply set the state of the following empty string to be user data. So here I will simply set the state of the name that we have declared up to be user display name and similar thing for email and photo URL. So here I will add user to be current user which will be await for the Firebase auth dot current user now after getting the data of the current user you can simply assert if the user id of the current user is equal to the user id of the user that we have obtained from the google sign in so we can simply use assert statement now after that we can simply return a string for example let's say logged in now after declaring the final future method we simply have to initialize the following method on our button which is the material button so to do that we can simply copy its name and give some on press method to our button so here instead of returning nothing i will simply navigate the following action of the button to the method of google sign in which is a future and after completing the following future we can simply end the phrase by using when complete that is when the google sign will be completed we will be automatically navigated to our next screen so for that i have created a new page which is just an empty page so let's navigate the current user to the next page so for that i can simply use flutter's navigation system so i can simply provide a material page route which will simply take a builder so we can simply provide a builder as a context of the following screen so here i will add context now this context shall be referring to the next screen now i have already created a boilerplate screen so that our user shall be automatically navigated from the sender screen to receiving screen so we can add a semicolon here and if i show to you my previous screen which is just a home screen it has nothing but just an empty column so let's start assigning some widgets into our column so to do that we can simply give some children to it let's say a circle avatar a text for the image as well as a text for the email we can simply press ctrl and us go back now let's start scheduling our application so to do that we can simply press our login button and after clicking on it our flutter application shall automatically fetch all the data of the email address that are already saved now i have already saved my email address of my primary account so here you can see i have fetched the circle avatar as in my image my profile name which is abhishek as well as my email address so now let's increase some of the radius of our photo so we can also increase the radius of our photo so that everything will be cleared as we see now if we check our firebase console by using this we are getting nothing nothing but if we simply reload our entire application that is from the following refresh screen we can now see that we are now getting my email address as well as my login credentials which is my sign in date as well as the user id now this user id shall be equal to the user id of the google sign in that is we have written a following method for this so now we have successfully logged in into our google but we can also do one thing that is assign a logout button for the user so to do that i can simply create a new material button which will simply have a sign out event so here i can simply declare the instance of the google sign in method so here i will write final google sign in to be google sign in which will be equal to the google sign in itself now after that i can simply initialize the name of the variable that is google sign in dot sign out which is a, just a simple method now when the sign out will be completed we can navigate it back to our initial page which will be our home page so here i can write the inbuilt navigator method provided by the flutter to us and here under the material page route i can simply provide the context of our previous screen which is the google authentication so here i will write the name of the class which is google authentication and also provide some children to our material button so here i will write children as a text to be log out also give some color to our material button so here i will add colors dot light blue now after giving some decoration to our entire button we can see a button like this now after pressing the following button we will simply navigate it back so in this way we have successfully completed our signing method so if you love this tutorial can you like this video as well as comment down all of your doubts you can also reach me out on my social media handles and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe so i will see you in the next one